It'll be night soon. You lose track of time. Hours melt into days. Days turn into years. 30 years in my case. After so much time in solitary, I should have been getting better. But in my heart, I always knew that there was no cure for what happened to me. But I kept on hoping. I knew that if I waited long enough. But I could only wait so long. Every day, the visions got worse. Soon, I wouldn't be able to tell reality from my nightmares. But I had to press on. I knew that one day, my unit would free me from this prison I'd be able to return home to my country and my family. After all, I am a hero of war. They have to come for me. It's been 20 years since the war ended. I think they'd be able to find me by now. But I knew that for my fellow soldiers, for my family, and for my country, I had to survive. Visions. <laughs> That's all they are. I have you. longer we're going to be doing this. For as long as it takes. Well, good. I am dead after all. I do have quite a lot of time on my hands. Well, you don't exist anyways, so why does it matter how long it takes? We've been through this time and time again, and it won't go any further. Ha! Huh. Right. Of course. Well... Well, what? Why are you still talking to me? Stop it! You don't exist, and I shouldn't be talking to you. Well, what should I do then? Where should I go? I don't know. Anywhere but here. And unless you're gonna help me, then leave. Wait! They say the mind bends and twists to deal with the horrors of life. I think that my mind bent so much that day that it snapped in two. I hadn't thought about Vincent or even the war for years. Why had he only now started to appear to me? Wait, who are you? Wait. Back to the wall. Wait. Back to the wall. Wait! Father... There hasn't been much progress. 